Welcome to another episode of Backyard Effects with Brian and Ryan. We're going to show you a couple different ways you can use simple materials to make an alien egg that really opens, and a 360 camera rig to get some interesting rotating shots. Stay tuned for this exciting build episode! protection every second of each hour of every day. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I already bent it. Oops. This one's already got holes in it. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Did you fit a 10 foot thing in your car? Wow, look at that. First, I bent the 10 foot piece of conduit into a half circle by pressing it up against a stable surface. I then drilled holes at both ends of the conduit. One is for the camera mount, and one is for the pin to hold on the free weight, and another hole at two and a half feet from one end. This is where the rig will balance and connect to the caster. Then I drilled a hole in the wheel of the caster. I then connected the caster to the conduit using the mending plates. Once I had everything put together, I held it up to test it out. I then disassembled it and attached the caster to the ceiling using the secure ceiling mounting bolts. I used the camera mount from an old tripod. All I did was run a bolt through the conduit here and attach my camera here. I cut the 8 foot 2x2 two two and attached it together with giant screws so that it formed a 90 degree angle. I hooked my camera on the long end with the piece for mounting and checked the weight on the other end using my fishing scale. Once I knew what weight would balance my camera, I filled the jug with sand and tied it on. The rope goes through a hole drilled just off center of the L shaped piece. The camera mount is a wooden bracket created by attaching wood at 90 degree angles to go around my camera. The part that holds the camera is a 1x4 piece of scrap wood glued and nailed on the bottom. For some joints, I screwed threaded rod into the wood and used wing nuts to allow adjustment. All the hardware was quarter inch. Camera mounts are that standard size. And now two different ways you can make an alien egg that opens. For both of our egg designs, you need to first make a paper mache shell. This is the size that the egg is going to be. To make a paper mache shell, cover a balloon in layers of newspaper dipped in wheat paste. You can get wheat paste at any hardware store or other location that sells wallpapering supplies. I alternated layers of newspaper and white paper so I knew how many layers I put on the egg. I used a total of about six layers. Using hot glue, I attached four plastic tubes to the outside of the shell, making sure not to glue them at the very top. I cut a hole in the top of the shell, but did not cut the tubes. I then covered it in carpet foam. The flaps on the end I centered over the tubes, as this will be the mechanism that opens the egg. I covered the rest of the egg with more carpet foam. Using hot glue, I covered the seams of the carpet foam, and also added more details like veins and little sections on the egg. As an added feature, I took sauce packets and hot glued them to the surface as well. This will add another fun effect to the egg during the test film. You can paint it any color you want. I used many different colors until I found the combination I liked. This is the finished egg, the color I finally decided on. Right here, with the little sauce packet. Here, with the uh, tubes coming out the end, and the wires for the tubes. The wires are actually to go through the table. So here's the plastic tube, the slits cut in it, that when you pull on it, on the wire, it bends it in that direction. For my design, I used the same materials, but I wanted to create a different mechanism that would open the top of the egg. To make the construction of the flaps a lot easier, I made a template 
Once I got all the shapes cut out, I attached the split in the center of each with hot glue. This causes them to curve like a spoon. I cut the top off of my paper mache shell and attached the flaps to form a dome. I filled in the rest of the shell by hot gluing scraps of carpet padding to the surface. I had to do a little bit more trimming to get it to fit just right. It's got fishing line, it goes from inside down and then goes in and out the bottom. So when you pull on it, And the texture is just painted green and liquid latex on there. And when you pull the liquid latex, it kind of makes this stringy texture. That's kind of what I wanted, kind of bubbly, organic look. And inside's just painted reddish, and this is green and brown. That does it for this episode of BFX. If you ever need an alien egg prop, this is how you can do it on the cheap with easy to find materials. And we also showed you how to get a 360 degree shot with your camera. It looks really cool. For more information on any parts of the build, you can contact us in the forums and we'll get back as soon as we can. See you next time. <laughs>